Okay, this keeps it real. I messed up at the saw. Um, but you saw the basic principles of how to cut your angle and the method for doing that, um, which you don't really see. Don't ever really see. Um, all right, so I hope that was beneficial. So here we are. I've got a brand new piece of tile. And uh, we're going to have to fit it. <clears throat> now, ultimately, you do not want to cut your factory edge, ultimately. So, if I put this up here against this, um, it will be, I got to get it, let's get this just right in place. All right. Now we see the gap. But you see, this will be... A nice tight fit. Now I gotta pull it forward at the top here. As you can see, we have a little lippage there. It's set back just enough that's creating that gap. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna have to do is level this, which means I cut it off the bottom. So I'm gonna have to take my level, okay, put it on the side. All right, and then bring this up, all right, and at this point, it tells me I'm right where I need to be here for a nice tight fit. I'm in my, oh, I'm in the range of where I need to be for plum there. And so I'm going to take a measurement here at the bottom. <clears throat> so hopefully this can be seen as I do it. If not, I'm sorry. I got to be my own cameraman, unfortunately. So it's pretty rough. So I hold this here where I need it. I come here and I am at... Oh, we are at three quarters of an inch. Actually, I'm at 15, uh, three quarters of an inch. All right, so that means I will have to take it off of the opposite end over here. So, now, I'll go to this corner right here. Oh, I gotta get my pencil out, my marker. Oh, did I leave it at the table? I may have left it at the table. No, maybe I didn't. Okay. Here we go. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a T for top. So I know where top always is. It's kind of like marking your north. Okay. T for top. Keeps it easy. All right. Now, <clears throat> I come down here and on the inside corner. We'll mark three quarters of an inch. Okay. So I'll come right here. Come down to three quarter mark. I can see it right here. There we are at the three quarter mark. All right, so I'll go from three quarters to what's called nothing on the saw, meaning I'll cut it to the corner outside edge of this corner on the other side of my cut. And it's called back to nothing. All right, let's go take a look what's gonna, how we're gonna set this up at the saw. Okay.
Okay, here we are at the saw. Getting ready to set it up. Get this cut. And set right where it needs to be in the outer edge. <clears throat> that mark. Okay. Adjust it at the blade first. Get it where you want it at the blade. Okay. Okay, and you bring your, make your adjustment back in the back. Okay. Right to the outer edge of that mark. Okay, there we are. Can't really see it with the that side, but we're right where we need to be. Okay, then the next step is we slide this over to your site down here. All right, so we need to come over just a hair. Right there. Now we need to pull this back. Okay. Now if we're lined up, we're right where we need to be there. We're right here where I want it to be on that pencil line. Actually, it's on my permanent marker line. Pencil lines wash off if you don't have masking tape down first. Okay, now I'm going to turn this saw and we'll get it cut. And the, oh, I'm sorry. Now we're going to shim this here. Again, you always want to shim it. Okay. Got to make up for the, for the base here. Because we want this nice and firm. And you want it tight back here in the corner. All right, so that's got it there. And where I want to be here, this hasn't moved. And I'm where I want to be in the front. Okay. You may remember when you're doing these angle cuts, you want to set it up at the front edge of where you're going to cut first against the blade. And then bring this back here to where you want it here at this point. And then shim. So it holds it in place as you. I also grab the front of the tile and I pull back against the fence and pressure down on the table to hold it in place as I cut. Okay. Okay, now we're up here above. Okay, so the next cut I'm going to have to make is cut the, I'm going to have to cut it. About so much, about four inches roughly, three and a half. Um, and here at the bottom, you can see that it now fits. Okay, now we've got a quarter inch we can play with on the bottom. Um, if we have a gap on the side, it doesn't have to be tight to the shower pan. So we have some room to play with here. All right. That's at the bottom of the shower pan. So the next cut, I'm going to have to take my measurement. Okay, so let's take this measurement. All right, we are at, what did I say, four inches? Oh, we are right at three and, oh, it is. All right, we are at. 13 sixteenths. All right. So three and 13 sixteenths. I'm going to have to take that off the bottom now. I'm going to have to measure up and take 13 sixteenths off the bottom. And we'll do that. That way I'm not touching the factory edge on top here um, it will be a nice clean edge we want to take it all off the bottom so we don't take a risk in um, removing your factory edge which is perfectly straight in most cases 
Um, unless you are a pro at cutting these tiles, I would recommend leave the factory edges alone where you don't have to cut them. All right. I'm going to take this measurement now. Okay, you can see right here at 13 16 is a little dot. So I took my marker and I put a dot just in case your eyes play tricks on you. That just reassures it's exactly where it's supposed to be. And uh, as you can see, that lines up with the mark here. And it works out really, really nice, you know, right where it's at. And same over here. Again, you come down and you see these line up. You're right where you need to be and you, you know where you're at. All right. So, next we'll be cutting and getting it set. Okay, now we've made the cut on this tile. I've got it fitted in here, and uh, it's looking pretty decent. So I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, so <clears throat> here we have it. Okay, there it is in the corner, and it's looking pretty good. Now, we take a look here at the level. We are off center just a little bit, but we're within tolerance. And that allows for a pretty decent joint all the way around here. Okay. And uh, make a few little adjustments when I get it set with the thin set on the wall and putting it in will be good. Now the next piece we're ready for is this end piece. And now I can make the adjustments necessary to it. <clears throat> All right. So now I can take this piece. And do the same thing with this piece. Now that we have this here basically set, I'm going to hold it in place <clears throat> with some tape like I have the others. Again, I'm sorry I don't have a cameraman here. My wife's too busy at the moment to help me with the videoing. And uh, I'm just a one-man band here, doing what I can, sharing and information. Okay, so it secures it there. And uh, let's get that secured over here in the corner. Okay. All right, now, maybe one more piece in the middle, just for good measure. All right, I could, I guess maybe I should use some duct tape. That would hold it a lot better. <clears throat> just gotta use what you have sometimes, make it work. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Okay. All right. For what that's worth, there we go. Now, for the next step in this process is I'm going to take this piece. I'm afraid if I zoom out with this, it'll mess up the videotaping of it. But I'm going to try. Okay, we're still videoing. All right, so we're good. Okay. So now, I have these pieces here interfering, but the tape's holding them. And uh, I'm gonna resecure it here um, so they're out of my way. That's not gonna work. There we go. So 
So now I'm going to have to double check my for plumb. See where we're at here. And we are looking not too bad. We're within the tolerance. Okay. Remember, as long as it all blends, it's got to blend and flow straight and even. And if it's not even, you want it to flow so it looks even. So we're going to bring this up here. Okay. I got this down here at the bottom. I'm going to bring this up here so where it touches. All right. Again, my two factory edge are in line. I'm going to hold it there. And now I'm going to mark this outer wall. So I know where I need to make my cut here. Okay. So I've marked it on the outer edge of this tile. Okay. Right there. So that's where I'm going to have to cut. And uh, then cut the bottom. And go back through the process. We'll show you once it's all finished. I hope this is helpful. Okay, so now the next step here is to get this scribed. <clears throat> so I've got this lined up here with this edge. And next I'm going to scribe it in down here at the bottom, starting on the far end. Okay. Making sure that everything's nice and tight. So I'm up about, about 3 sixteenths of an inch here on this edge. So I go from this point right here to this outside corner of the tile at the bottom, which I call nothing because we're cutting it to the face of the tile at the end here. So it'll cut from here, the tile, so I'll cut it from here and it will gradually taper off. Well, I'm not doing that very well. Right off to the outer edge here and nothing will be taken from this corner. The blade should slide right along this last part of this tile last on the edge. It should just slide right along it and uh, you know you've got a nice cut. All right. We're going to have to pause it, do the cut, and come back.